Hey, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to uninstall any unnecessary apps from your MacBook. I'm tired of them. Everyone is tired of them. So this is your go-to video on how to get rid of these unnecessary apps that you might have mistakenly downloaded or you might no longer need it. In my case, there are a lot of things that I don't need like Python ideally and you know parallel clients. I'm just tired of them and I want to remove them. So how to get rid of them? So it's very easy and a quick process. So what you have to do is make sure you look on the upper left corner. There's an Apple icon. Click on it. And in here you want to see click on the about this Mac. Click on it. When you click on about this Mac, you'll see multiple options. But we have to go into storage. Click on storage. And in here, you will see that you have a, I have a really less storage. So you have to calculate your how much storage is consumed and click on manage. When you click on manage, there is a lot of uh, you know files that will show you how which file occupy how many places. Like application, there's a books, there's documents, there's iTunes. So in here, we are concerned only with applications because you want to get rid of apps. But if you want to get rid of, rid of documents, you can also get rid of documents using this. But I'm getting rid of you know applications, so I'm just gonna go click on this one application. And in here, you can see there are a lot of options. So what are, what we are going to do in order to get rid of anything, what we're gonna do is click on that you know for example if I want to get rid of Opera, I'm just gonna click on Opera and double click on it like putting my two fingers and click on delete. Once you delete it, click on delete. It will take some time usually, but it, it's removed and remove it from here. Okay, you can't find it. For example, if you go into you know opening all the apps, just a second. Okay, in here you can see it's removed. Once it was available in here, now it's removed. Even if you open it from here, it is putting a question mark, which means it's no longer available on your MacBook. So there are a lot of websites, any of them if you find you know are irritated with, this is the easiest go-to way to get rid of your application. And if, even if you want to get rid of your documents, you can so do so by you know just clicking on it and boom you will be getting out of that shit very much easily and if you find this video really helpful make sure to leave a comment below we'll catch you in the video keep visiting tigs schooling